All right, so we got the intros done. I know there's a few pe few more people that um, we're supposed to hop on. But first, I want to go through uh, just the school platform. You know, I'm not really familiar with it. Um, so, you know, uh, some of y'all may be familiar with it, maybe not. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen real quick just so y'all can see, you know, where everything is inside of uh, the school platform. Y'all can see my screen? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is the home page. Um, so on the home page, we have the community uh, tab up here. And Xavier, you can help me out a little bit too. I don't know if you you know a little bit more than me, um, but we got the community. Then we got the classroom tab. This classroom tab is going to have a bunch of courses in it. So it starts with Credit Boost Academy. This is going to be more so your credit repair. So I, I'm talking about your personal credit structure, how to fix your credit, um, how to start your own credit repair business. So these videos, if you're interested in credit repair, I recommend going through it at the bare minimum. You want to go through the personal credit structure. So on this, I'm breaking down how your credit needs to look so you can get funding so you could be optimized. Um, but our calls, our live calls will be based on this kind of flow of going from cleaning your credit, building it, funding your personal credit, structuring your LLC, and then funding your business. So that's kind of the, the steps to getting access to business funding. Then we have the funding launch pad. So this is getting personal funding um, and then how to fund your business. So personal funding and business funding are both under here. Then we have the business growth and development. So this is how to structure your LLC. So essentially, if you start from scratch, you'll want to go credit repair, build your credit, fund your credit, and then you want to skip over to business growth Make sure you got your LLC set up right. And then you want to go to how to fund your business. And then we also have the one-on-one -on -one coaching. So in here, okay, yeah, so the link is on here. So every month y'all can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me, just a strategy call, um, you know, just based on where you are currently. And we'll, you know, talk, well, I'll give you some action steps on what you need to do exactly uh, to get to your next step. So that is in the one-on-one -on -one coaching. And we have the accountability. So with the accountability, let me see, Xavier, how does this work? What happens when they, once they fill this out? So we get the form. Uh, I think the instructions are on the um, accountability. Thing. Uh, fill out the questionnaire. Once submitted, we'll review your responses and pair you with the best group. You'll receive an email with further instructions. Okay. So, yeah, because I know a few of y'all are, like, in real estate. Um, so, you know, that would probably be, like, one of the good accountability groups. Or maybe, you know, people might be working on the credit repair part, you know, that might be a good accountability group or you might be working on getting business funding, you know, that might be a good accountability group. Um, but yeah, so that's the other <clears throat> section and then apply for funding. So everybody that is a part of, um, let me see if this is the right link. Yeah, that ain't the right link. I'm gonna have to fix that. But everybody that um, has good credit, 700 credit, no derogatories, you can go through this link and then inquire about the funding program. So everybody in the society, you'll get a discounted uh, rate on the funding. So I normally charge people 10% on the back end. So if we, if my bankers get you 50,000, we get you 50,000. Our fee is 5,000. Um, but now once you guys are, you know, in the society, um, I'm taking two points off of that. So you'll get an 8% fee. So that's like a $2,000 discount on 100000 And Then we got the Telegram group chat. So yeah, after you have received your first round of funding, 
DM me proof. Yeah, I was going to talk to you about that because I think um, since this, since our community isn't so big, mm -hmm. the communication, the community aspect, it can still be on Telegram where most of the people that you funded are. Okay. So we can use that, but we can use, we can just, instead of people having to get funding first, they can mm -hmm. just go ahead and once they join the community, they'll get access so they can see the archives, they can see the chat and all that stuff. Okay. All right, cool, cool. And so what's next? We have the calendar. <clears throat> so like Maya, she has said in the uh, mentioned the telegram a couple of days ago. So we're gonna have these calls every two weeks. So every Wednesday, seven o'clock Eastern. Usually the call probably be like hour, two hours, just depending on the flow of things. Um, and then I'll be having starting next month. I, I haven't decided who, who it'll be yet, but I'll have people from different industries. Um, like real estate stocks. I got a few people in real estate, few people in stocks um, that really like they really get into it. Uh, accounting, because it's important to understand your your checks and balances. You, you got to know your books. So I got somebody with accounting, somebody that does grants. Uh, she also, So my CPA, she does account. She does accounting. She does grant funding. So I'll have her come on um, marketing. So I have some people that could, you know, help you, you know, with lead generation and marketing and stuff like that for your business. So it'll be a few different people coming on. You'll see it on the calendar and I'll put up updates as well inside of, uh, I'll post like notifications or whatever on the, in, inside of school. So that's the calendar tab up here. And then here are the members. So everybody, um, if you haven't, you know, feel free to, Put like a little introduction of who you are, what you're looking to get out of it, out of here, what your interests are, where you based out of, <clears throat> all of that good stuff. Um, so I see some people have been active, a couple of people, they just signed on to the platform. And then there is an app. I don't know if y'all um, have the app. I don't know, Xavier, maybe you could uh, drop the link for the app for school. It makes it easy so you don't have to go on safari or the internet then we got this leaderboard i don't really know how this leaderboard stuff works um yeah we can we can talk about that later but basically it's just incentivizing people we can come up with things to incentivize people to be active in the community um so you can give like free calls or you know something to incentivize people because the more active you are the more you'll rank up in the leaderboard. So oh, it's just might, a, yeah, yeah, I might do a little gift card or something. Somebody who, you know, the leaderboard and you know, the first 30 days or something like that. I could do something like that. And this is the about section. It's basically just breaking down what you could expect to get um from the program. And I think these were just some testimonial stuff. So back to the home page. Here we got different categories. So we have the general discussion. Then we got the credit boost. So this part could be pretty much if you're getting successes with like credit repair or you're having some questions regarding um, like what credit builders to get on your credit, like self kickoff, stuff like that. Um, you can put that in the credit boost. And pretty much when you when you want to write something, it asks you, you know, what category you want to post it in. So you want to make sure you post it in the right, um, in the right area. Then we got funding strategy. So this might be something like, uh, you know, what you know, what bank pulls Experian or Equifax or whatever the case may be. Um, so you know, you could post questions in there, or you could just share, you know. It, we don't want it just all to be questions, you know. It can be, you know, your wins as well. So if you got some information that we might not be privy to, you know, feel free to make a post and, and uh, you know, inform everybody about it. Then we got the business growth. So the business growth is more so, um, more so LLC and corporation centric. So any questions or anything related to setting up an LLC, like what what's a good business name or or a virtual address, 
you know, should I get a domain? Should I get a website? Who can I go to to get a website? You know, that type of stuff. Then wealth building, that can kind of just be anything. So anything investment related. Um, so, you know, if you're in real estate or stocks or something like that, um, it could kind of, this can kind of be like where you want to put your credit into. So any industries that you might be privy to, you could drop information about um, those industries. And then the accountability, of course, that's the accountability group. And then any successes you get, like any credit, you know, any things that come off of your credit or, you know, you seeing a boost in your score, you know, you could feel free to share that, you know, um, you know, any funding that you get, you know, any personal business funding, you could share that in the success stories and then tools and resources. So any links that you have to anything that's important that you feel is important, just drop it in there. I'll probably be dropping some stuff in there as well because. In the banking industry, things change all the time. So anytime I get new info, I'll be dropping it in there. And then the live event. So with the Zoom calls and stuff, I'll be posting on here um, about the different calls that we'll be having. But yeah, that's pretty much, you know, the school community. It's kind of like Facebook a little bit. I, you know, I got this feed down here like this. So it's pretty cool. So Don't yeah. you have a, a live a live event? Um, are you still doing a live event over the next week? Or yeah, so the mastermind. What what was it on the twenty sixth? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna still plan to do it. I'm gonna still plan to do it. Um, cause I know I get back. Uh, I get back from Mexico on the twenty fourth. So that's a Thursday. I don't know. I, I might uh, push it back. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Things been moving so quick. All right. So now we kind of got an idea um, of the platform. Does anybody have any questions about the school community? All right, cool. No questions. All right, so the first thing uh, when it comes to your credit, you want to make sure you structure your, your personal credit properly. Uh, I think I probably got a, a slide or something I can show y'all. Give me one second. Y'all bear with me for a minute. <laughs> What are you looking for? Oh, you found uh, it. It was, it was this um checklist. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I wanted to give a real high level um overview when it comes to getting funded, because that's the reason for this whole thing: getting access to the money and then putting it into an investment to make money. So this checklist right here, I'll zoom out. 
it's five steps. So it's a this is a checklist I created maybe like a couple months ago. Uh, but essentially, there's five steps. There's four steps to get you to fund business funding. So step one, clean your credit. So this is the hardest step. When it comes to cleaning your credit, there's no guarantees that everything is going to come off of your report. And I think a lot of times people get discouraged that when they're going through the path of trying to improve their credit because they feel like, man, I've been working on this for six months or 12 months. And, you know, I got a couple things off, but I still got some stuff weighing on my credit. And, you know, sometimes people just end up giving up. When in reality, like I've had situations where my mother-in-law, we legit was working on her credit for like almost two years. And it was like one little charge off that we were, you know, my team was disputing. Like we was probably on like round 16, 17. Like we was, we was reusing letters, you know, just trying to get this stuff off. We end up getting it off. And it was like right before she was trying to, um, right before she was closing on the house. So she had got pre-qualified. She got the pre-approval and she had got an interest rate. And in the middle of her getting the house, we got the charge off removed and it shot her score up and they checked her score again. And she ended up um, getting a lower interest rate and it saved her some money on the, um, on her mortgage. So, you know, if she would have gave up, granted, you know, she was getting free service, but if she would have gave up, and say, you know what, D'Angelo, you know, I, you got mostly everything off. I don't want to keep going. You know, you know, you, uh, I'm good. She would have ended up with, you know, a slightly higher mortgage that would, you know, increase her overhead every month. So step one is the hardest part in this process. But if you trust the process, it will work out. You will get everything removed. And then once everything's cleaned up, you got to, Keep you know pay your bills. That's all it is with credit. You just got to pay your bills. You can't over leverage yourself. That's the main thing uh, when it comes to the credit game. Not over leveraging yourself. You got to trust the process. Um, step two is building your credit. So you want to do step one and step two at the same time. I've had some people they get their credit clean and they only have one account on there, but they want to get funded. And I have to you know be the bearer of bad news and tell them look we can't really get you any funding because you don't even have any credit builders on your report. So when you start fixing your credit, you want to build your credit at the same time, because let's say it takes you a year to clean your credit up. If you start building at that same time, your credit builders will be a year old. And ideally you want those credit builders to be at the minimum six months, uh, but ideally 12 months old before you move on to step three, which is funding your personal credit. So when it comes to funding your personal credit, the credit unions are going to be your best option. Um, local credit unions, I know we got a bunch of people in Virginia. True Lion Federal Credit Union, Virginia Credit Union, um, those are like the one of the two best credit unions um, when it comes to getting high limit funding. So with True Lion, a lot of my clients, they'll get their first twenty, thirty thousand dollar credit card or loan. So the thing is with business funding, banks are going to look at your personal credit and they want to see that you have established accounts, not like authorized user accounts, but your actual primary account. So it's super key to get go through the credit unions, because if you go through a bank, most times you'll get approved for like a $250 or $500 credit card. It's not much you can do with that. And the banks, they're not really going to give you much on the business side because you have those low limits. So we want to go straight to the credit unions to get our first $5,000, $10,000 credit card um, or loan. So that's step three. You want to ideally have at least two personal credit cards um, before you get business funding. Step four, you can do this step anytime establishing your LLC. You want to make sure it's structured properly. Uh, we'll have a call that where we deep dive into how to um, set up your LLC so you can get max funding. Um, but yeah, once you go through these steps, and I will say with step three, um, you do want to wait at least like six to 12 months again um, for those hard inquiries to age off of your report. 
and as well as for those accounts to age because you want to have these accounts open for at least six to 12 months before you try and go get, um, you know, the business funding. And then step five, funding your LLC. So this is where we all want to get to because once you structure your personal credit, you can fund multiple LLCs. So I've been able to fund over a million dollars in business funding by leveraging my 800 credit score. Um, but yeah, funding your LLCs, we it, there's a few different banks out there that give you pretty good limits. Um, but yeah, fund your LLC. And then after that, once you fund the LLC, it's time to make money off of your business. So we don't want to just get the money. We want to flip the money. We want to invest the money into our business so we can generate revenue. So step six, it ain't on here, but step six, invest the money properly. Make sure you got a plan to pay back the debt. You know, you don't want to just get the money, spend the money and not have a proper plan in place to make those monthly payments on the credit cards or the loan, whatever type of uh, funding that you get access to. And then once you start generating revenue, you want to get X, you want to start reporting um, the revenue to the IRS. So you want to file your business tax returns. I know, you know, most people want to write off everything. You don't want to show a profit. But if your goal is to leverage the bank's money and really scale, you want to report your taxes at least for a year or two and then leverage those taxes to go get lines of credit. So the lines of credit are a little different from credit cards. It'll allow you to get access to the cash a lot easier. And then especially if you're in real estate, um, it'll be cheaper debt. Cause like with these credit cards, they're interest free for a year, year and a half. But after that, they skyrocket to 20, 25%. With the line of credit, it's a revolving account, like a credit card, but usually the interest rate is between like nine and like 13%. Um, so that's, you know, kind of the steps. Like I went from having a personal credit, um, understanding, you know, business credit, get my first couple business credit cards, actually running a, a business and then reporting my earnings to the IRS, you know, paying those taxes, it, you know, it do hurt. You know, I ain't going to lie to you. I hate, hate paying taxes, but I'm grateful, you know, I'm in a situation, but um, having those tax returns is golden because I can literally go to any bank and I can go get 50000 75000 $100,000 line of credit. So I can, essentially go get unlimited funding um because I have the good personal credit and I have those business tax returns. Uh, but yeah, that's just kind of a high level overview. I want y'all, you know, to kind of soak that in. Uh but you know, first step is cleaning your credit. So everybody that's in the society, if you have um if you, you know, some of y'all are already in the credit repair program. But if you're not in the credit repair program and you need to get your credit fixed, make sure you you could probably shoot me a, a DM on school or um trying to think the easiest way just so we could get you enrolled um in the program. Actually, what I can do is I could send y'all this link. Uh, 